clean a microscope, we're going to start at the top. We're going to clean the ocular, then the objectives, then the substage and the light source, and finish up with the stage and the body. Students often put their eyelids on the eyepiece or ocular. So skin oils and dirt are very common here. You're going to start by dusting off the ocular to get rid of any dust that might scratch when you use the lens paper. Then you're going to wet a piece of lens paper and from the bottom to the top wipe the ocular. You do not want to use canned air when you're cleaning a microscope because many contain solvents that will damage the microscope. After wiping the ocular, you're going to use a clean, dry piece of lens paper to get all the smudges off. If necessary, you can always use a hand lens to make sure that you have everything off of the ocular or to see if it's a scratch on the ocular itself. Moving to the objectives, you're going to start with lowest magnification. Rotate that into focus, focus the slide, then move the slide. If dirt moves with the slide, then the dirt is on the slide itself. If it stays in position, then the dirt is on either the objective or inside of the ocular since you've made sure that this is clean. If there is dirt inside the ocular itself, you're going to unscrew the set screw, remove it, dust it, and put it immediately back and lock it into place. If the dirt is on the objective, and that often happens, you're going to rotate the objective away from the sample. And in the case of low power, the objective is usually concave instead of convex. So you're going to want to use a simple cotton swab. Use a little bit of lens cleaning solution and insert it into the objective, rotating gently so that you don't scratch the lens. Flip the Q-tip cotton swab over and dry the objective. Rotate it back into place to make sure that everything is now clean. Moving on to the 10x objective, following the same procedure, refocus and move the slide. The 10x objective is dirty. It is often a convex objective. So we're going to use lens paper and the lens cleaning solution to clean it. Hold the wetted lens paper to the objective for 5 to 10 seconds because the 10x objective often has some sort of stain or oils on it. This will help to break those apart. And then dry it. Once again, checking for completion. It may take several rounds of cleaning in order to get the objective clean. You'll do the same with the 40X. Oil immersion, if your microscope has one, will undoubtedly have oil on it, although we tell students to make sure that they clean off the oil with each use. That doesn't always happen. It will also often have stains on it if you do bacterial studies. So once again, focus. and make sure yeah, it's blurry. Rotating it out. With this, you may need to use more than just lens cleaning solution. And you'll notice I'm using cotton swab because I can get into the nooks and crannies. Hold, gently rotate, and then dry. 
The oil immersion objective is the one objective where you may need harsher chemicals in order to remove those oils. If you do need harsher chemicals, you're going to use xylene very quickly and then switch immediately on the other side of the cotton swab to ethyl alcohol. Xylene and ethyl alcohol will eventually damage the lens itself. It will uh, damage the cement that holds the lens together. So you want to use that as a last resort. Moving beyond the objectives to the substage and the light source. I'm going to want to make sure if you have an older microscope where these get hot that they're cool before you do any cleaning. The substage, again, will have dirt and maybe some oil or some stain on it. Start by brushing and blowing off any dirt that's there and then move to the lens cleaning solution, holding and drying. With a light source, it's usually just dusty. So just either wipe or brush off the dust. By keeping the covers on the microscope while they're not in use, 